Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a speedy review of this Lacura Moisture Boost Hydrating Gel Moisturiser. This is from Aldi and I picked it up about a month ago. I've been using it for just over two weeks now and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed considering I'm a bit of a skincare snob. <laughs> so in case you don't know, Aldi bring out a lot of different beauty, skincare and now homeware products like candles and diffusers and they're all dupes of higher end brands. This is a dupe of the Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizer that retails for about £37 I believe. This one costs £4.99 so the price difference is ridiculous. This is so affordable like a fiver for a moisturizer is just insane. Now I don't actually know if all the ingredients are exactly the same. It doesn't say on the tub. I binned the box a very long time ago but also I'm probably not the best person to compare the ingredients side by side and tell you which one's better. There are probably plenty of other people on YouTube that can do that. I'm just here to tell you about this moisturizer because although I've used the Clinique one a very long time ago I don't really remember it exactly and I don't have it with me to compare them side by side but yeah. Anyway, this moisturiser comes in a glass, like, it's glass packaging, which is great for the environment. Not so great for travel, but I don't know how they'd be able to improve that by changing it to plastic and making it worse for the environment. So, in terms of, for me, I'm all about the lightweight, travel-friendly, like, packaging, like, so that's easy for travel, but this is good for the environment. It's your standard sort of screw top lid on a glass jar, opens up like this, and the product itself is actually a light pink gel colour. It's kind of, it is lightweight, and I guess it is kind of runny, but not runny enough so that it would ever, just in case, yeah, it's not runny enough that it would ever fall out of the packaging. You'll have to excuse the sun, it keeps coming in and out, and I'm using natural lighting to film this. So I don't have particularly parched skin where it's dry or dehydrated. I don't need something that's really heavy on my skin, and I love the fact that it's really lightweight. I think this would be a great moisturiser for all skin types because it is lightweight, but it is so hydrating. It would be great for dry and dehydrated skin. It would be good for oily skin. I have normal skin. It's great for me, great for combination skin. And it would also be good for sensitive skin because it's fragrance-free and oil-free too. So it literally smells of nothing. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's pale pink in colour. I just tend to take a generous sort of amount on my finger and massage it into my skin, obviously, after I've cleansed it. And... It just sinks in so beautifully. I have heard people, when they compare it to the Clinique one, say that this one doesn't feel as luxurious. To me, it feels great. Like, it's very luxurious. I just love a good gel moisturiser. It's just so lightweight, hydrating. I don't know how many times I can say those two words, but it really is. I probably put far too much on for the back of my hand here. There we go. But it just sinks into the skin absolutely beautiful it just feels so soft and luxurious my skin just drinks it up and it's amazing i also think it makes such a good base for makeup application so in the mornings after i've cleansed my skin and showered and got ready and all of that jazz i will then go in with this moisturizer and more often than not i will go on over the top with an SPF when I remember and then my foundation straight away and it's kind of got that like slightly tacky feeling and it's not uncomfortable because I wear it on its own all the time when I'm having makeup free days which is the majority of the time and it's not like like when you get those awful hand creams that feel really sticky it's just got a little bit of kind of grip to it which really helps the foundation or any other makeup you put on your skin kind of stick to it a bit like a primer and that's what I really really like about it it just plumps up your skin and it just makes it look really healthy like you can kind of see I don't know if you'll be able to see my hand looks a bit glossy it's got a bit of a sheen to it and that's what it does to my face it just makes your skin look really healthy and plump and just hydrated and that's what I really really like about it. It's honestly such a great product for 4 99 and also it doesn't contain SPF. Strictly speaking you should always use an SPF regardless of whether there's one in this or not over the top but it means that you can also use this moisturiser day or night or both which is great for those of you on a budget or just for people that like a stripped back skincare routine. You don't need to invest in two different products you just buy the one for a fiver and use it day and night and it's great. 
I don't tend to use this at night time just because I have so many products on the go all the time that I'm always trying to like get through products because I want to review them or find my favourites and possibly repurchase them or tell you guys about them that I tend to use two different products but I have tried it at night and I just wake up with like the softest like baby soft skin and it's great so yeah that's all I have to say about this moisturiser like I said I never really know if this is a special buy or if you can buy it all the time I happened to go to an Aldi store that isn't my regular store and that's where I saw this I've not actually looked in my local store to see if they sell this but sometimes it's not always with the skincare bits it's kind of nestled in between their like their aisles that sell everything under the sun so you kind of have to do a little bit digging around but yeah I'm really glad that I tried this I'm so impressed with how it works if you are a dry or dehydrated skin type then I think you will love it even more than I do but yeah that is my speedy review I really hope you found it helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video bye